Okay, for this tutorial, we are going to export a data layer to KML, which is Keyhole Markup Language. Um, that is the default data type used by Google Earth, Google Maps, and our Route app or Map app for the Rochester Cycling Alliance website. Um, we still have the Trails GTC uh, data set open, and we have our individual KML files here uh, grouped by ratings. And what we're going to do is, since the module is already installed, you'll have a little Google Earth logo up here, and when you hover over it, it'll say export to KML. You simply click on it, and we're going to choose a layer to export. Uh, first layer we're going to choose to export is the bike suitability ratings good. Um, now, you see group and color features using the layer symbology. That'll preserve the colors that I have set. So all the trails in this data set will show up as green on Google Earth with a line width of one pixel. Um, there's also this field for select an attribute for labeling features. In this case, we're going to choose none because our previous data set uh, with the street names actually was very slow to load in Google Earth and it was redundant data because the street names are already present in Google Earth. And uh, this field down here is an attribute that represents the height of the feature. Uh, we don't actually have any height data, so we're going to leave that on none. Uh, if you're getting a little curious, there's the options button here. And this is a multi-tab journal that allows you to set a lot of information about the, um, the data set and how it's going to export to KML. The most directly relevant is the labeling and description option. And this allows you to choose a feature uh, attribute to name each world piece, um, as well as the snippet, which is the little signpost that shows up in Google Earth when you click on it. Again, um, we're not going to include any of this data other than possibly, in this case, I'm going to do a street name and a rating. So when you click on the feature snippet, you will get a street name and a rating. And that's about that. You click down here for OK. That'll save the options. It's defaulting to my desktop and it's going to export it as a KML. And you just click OK. It'll export and then it'll ask you once the export is finished whether or not you would like to load it in Google Earth. And for this case we're going to click yes just to verify that our export worked properly. Google Earth will load and should snap to the location of the data layer. And here you can see we have our GTC trails with rating good showing up in Google Earth here. And we go down and we have here we go. Here is our feature snippet. Um, as you can see, it's a little strange. Uh, we might have to re-export this to fix this. Um, and I will take care of that now. Uh, with the layer still selected, you go to export. Good, once again. Uh, let's check out our options. Mm -hmm. actually not certain why it looked that way. Um, I'm going to try it in the feature description instead of the snippet. <clears throat> and we're going to do, again, street name and rating. So hopefully at this point, uh, this will work properly. Re-export, load, test again, and check it out. Here it is again. <coughs> Let's take a look here. And that's actually the proper way to export it. So now we have the road name and the rating. Um, so that was the desired effect. As you can see, the data set is fairly large, but didn't add any significant slowdown into loading or display in Google Earth. And that was 
the desired revision over the initial export, which had all of the metadata present. Um, so we can close Google Earth now, discard it. Um, so this would be the same process for the next layer. So you'd click on fair and export fair with the same options of street name, rating, okay, okay. I'm not going to test it. Uh, I'll do it once more for poor. Set the labeling description options to street name and rating. Run it once more. And we will do the final, which is other. And we will do street name and rating. Export the last data set and that is it. That is how you export a uh, data set from ArcMap to Google Earth KML uh, with a quick rundown of how to set the feature snippets and the feature descriptions.